afternoon in the Poblacion of Baler in the province of Aurora. The sun is bright and warm. From the distance, the low drone of tricycles can be heard. A slight breeze is blowing. By the local church, located at the center of a cluster of renovated one-story houses, there lies etched footprints painted red. From the door of the church, they continue across the yard and into the street beyond. This is the Baler Catholic Church. The footprints are markers for a tour down the town's history lane, which the municipal government opened to the public on February 15, 2005. The Baler History Walk passes five historic sites, the Baler Catholic Church, the Aurora Quezon Ancestral House and Marker, the Lieutenant Commander James Gilmore Marker, the Catipuneros Marker, and the Quezon Memorial Park. The tour highlights significant events in Baler's history during the Philippine Revolution against Spain and shortly before the start of the American rule. The tour begins at the Baler Catholic Church. Established in 1611, the church was a center for spreading Christianity in this part of Luzon during the Spanish era. During the 1898 revolution, the Baler Catholic Church was the site of the so-called Siege of Baler, which lasted from June 28, 1898 to June 2, 1899. During that period, Revolutionary Catiponeros laid siege on the Spanish garrison occupying the church. The garrison was able to hold out for almost a year, thanks to a hoard of rice and sardines that they were able to store inside the church before the beginning of the siege. The Siege of Baler was the last official skirmish between Filipino revolutionaries and Spanish troops. The 35 Spanish survivors of the siege were escorted by revolutionary troops in a triumphant parade back to Manila, where they boarded a ship bound for Spain. Located in front of Baler Catholic Church is a quaint, tiny house. This is the renovated ancestral home of the family of Philippine Commonwealth President Manuel L. Quezon. The Quezon family no longer resides in Baler, but the house is cared for in their behalf. At the corner of the street stands the Aurora Quezon marker, erected in honor of the late president's first lady. Across the Quezon House is another marker commemorating a successful attempt by Catiponeros to foil a suspected American maneuver to rescue the besieged Spanish garrison. In April 1899, Gilmore and 25 U.S. Marines arrived in Baler on board the U.S. gunboat Yorktown. Their mission? To secure the Spanish soldiers besieged inside the Baler Catholic Church and escort them back to Manila. The Catiponeros correctly suspected Gilmore to be collaborating with the Spaniards. Gilmore and his company were ambushed upon their arrival. They were captured and imprisoned until Gilmore was able to escape and find his way back to Manila. A short distance from Lieutenant Commander Gilmore's marker is a marker dedicated to the brave Balereño Catiponeros who fought during the Siege of Baler. Developed in honor of the late President Manuel L. Quezon, the Quezon Memorial Park boasts of manicured lawns and gently swaying trees. Situated among the foliage lies a small marker dedicated to the great statesman. The advent of time had taken its toll on the Quezon's ancestral home. As such, a replica now stands in its place. All 
also found within the Quezon Memorial Park is a museum showcasing varied artifacts depicting the history of Balir. Today, the small town of Baler stands as a testimony against the eroding sands of time. A story told of the colonization of a country and a history written by footprints.